Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Let's build some spooky sets. The hidden side Lego sets have just been released. And these are sets that once you've built, you can actually catch ghosts with them via AR on your on your iDevice, which is really cool. But even the sets, like the set themselves, all on their standalone self, are pretty cool looking too. So I'm really excited to see what they're like. Oh, three sets of stickers. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. That's new. <laughs> Never had three sets of the same stickers before. All right, cool. So this guy here, his name is Jack Davids. I know nothing about these characters. They're going to need some character development, but he's got a really cute little uh, little bone key ring on his pants there. He's wearing, he's wearing a sweat jacket. No sweatshirt, a hoodie. He's looking cranky and he's looking happy. So let's put his happy face on first. And he's got this new head PC thing, which has got his cap with his hoodie over the top, which is like the weirdest look. I have no idea. Why do people do that? Anyway, he's got his phone, which has got a great image of a blue ghost on it. So this is obviously the one he's trying to catch because Newberry, where they live, is totally haunted. Including, it's so haunted that there's actually a little ghost dog. This, this dog is my everything. How cute is this dog? This is called Spencer. Spencer is a ghost dog. I th I think he's Jack David's ghost dog. I'm just assuming that. But he's so cute. If I had nothing else in this set, I would just want the ghost dog. <laughs> but there's plenty of other things in this set. Plenty of other good things. We've got next character who's Parker. She's got a P for Parker on her necklace. Parker L. Jackson. She's got two face choices too. Let's put on the happy face because she's quite keen to go out and catch some ghosts. And she has got, she's got a beanie on. Looks like she might have either dreadlocks or plaits hanging down over her shoulders. And she's got a, a vibrant coral phone with a yellow ghost. So she is after the yellow ghosts. So they're the main ghost catchers. And another character, I got all the characters out of the bags because they, a couple of them were in the second bag. So this guy here, this is Mr. Brown. No, it's not. It's Mr. Branson. Can't even read my own handwriting. Mr. Branson is the grave digger, I think. That's what I'm just assuming. He's definitely wearing the right clothes to be out digging a grave. But he's got an alternate head for when he gets possessed by the ghosts. <laughs> I'm just making these stories up because I really don't know what's happening. But he's got this extra head, which has got really cool flame patterning on the back. And this awesome hair. This hair is just far out. Check it out. It's like tufty on both sides. It's got this little peak in the back so you can see the flames through. Or you can turn around, you can see his eyeball through. <laughs> you can do what you want with this hair. So Mr. Branson is now possessed and he's over here haunting the kid characters and there's also a skeleton and the description actually calls the skeleton one of the characters i don't know about that i think the skeleton is just a skeleton the skeleton doesn't have a name actually that's quite sad i think we should give the skeleton a name we're gonna call him skelly or bones oh he's got he's got a boy oh, he's got a fluorescent green key which is actually key that's a bit of a pun. It's key to one of the games or one of your functions, one of the things you need to do in the app. So that green key is important in the app. I just don't know how, <laughs> but it is. Right, so let's start building this graveyard. Let's move everybody out of the way because without a graveyard, we don't have a scene. And without a scene, we got nothing that we can actually point our iPhone at and actually play the game. And I will play the game. I'll show you how it works after we finish building it. So we're gonna do everything. I probably won't do it very well because I'm not very good under pressure, especially when ghosts are flying at me, even if they're only augmented reality ghosts. <laughs> I get, I'm not very good under pressure, but I'm good at building Legos. So let's do that and then we'll see how badly I go at the game. Okay, so we've got a nice little ground piece going on over here. This one's another one that's going to be attached to the, the, the initial one that we just started building. And we got some outward facing hooks and one little green inward facing hook. Oh, that's cute. It's going to have a function, obviously. We have got some stickers with a bit of brickwork and a bit of ancient brickwork on them, a bit of moss growing up them as well. And these go... Oh, hold on. They're supposed to go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, mucked up here. So this is supposed to just have that single one on there. There we go. We'll save these other pieces for later when they're actually supposed to be used, which was not here. Good. Okay, so these are the graveyard gates. They're like wrought iron, they're very grim and they're very imposing. And they're going to set the scene beautifully for our graveyard mystery, woo! This goes over here on an angle, which is cool. This is all looking cool. We've got another little angle piece here to help hold them, 
hold those two pieces together. We've got a nice big fence going in and on the top of the fence, it's uh, it's getting, oh, actually it's, we're getting extended. We're extending the fence out. Oh, this is nice. And now we get a bit of, a little bit of foliage just to be clipped onto the fence. Very nice. This is looking really good. And that ghost dog just has my heart. <laughs> He's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. I wonder how I can incorporate that ghost dog into everything. I wonder if it comes in different colours. Wouldn't that be so cute? The ghost dog's in different colours. I totally want that. Okay, I need to concentrate on what we're actually doing. So we're building a pillar with some different coloured squares on each side of it. And this square here has got has got what we're supposed to be seeing, which is like a monument, one of the grave monuments. And this goes in here, but when you turn it, you can actually turn it to expose the different coloured squares, which is part of the game. And if you're not playing the game, those different coloured squares would just look kind of funky in there. They'd look weird, but they have a purpose. And look at this, see? We can turn it around and look, oh, ghost dog. And on the very top of our little grave there, a little memorial, there is a stone angel, which isn't creepy at all. Not creepy in the least. So let's install her on the top of our grave and we can use her to turn, oh, not her hair. We can use her to turn around, turn that around when we need to do that as part of the game. Cool, all right. So we've got some big claw feety things happening over here, which kind of look like tree roots. We'll see what's gonna happen in the middle because the middle there looks as though it's going to be quite an important part. So here are those pieces I tried to put on before. We've got an enormous big kind of door frame, a very deep door frame. Got some green hooks pushing out on the front there. Oh, it's not a door. I thought it might be like this enormous crypt, but it's not. It's a grave. It's a very deep grave. In fact, it is deep enough to hold this skeleton with his green key. So he's now hanging out inside that grave there. This is the little, the little, well, it's a grave. I keep trying to call it something else. Coffin. It's like a coffin. So this is going to be the coffin lid with a red square hidden underneath it. And we get another nice looking printed sticker here, which tells us nothing about who's actually buried in here. Unless I can read teeny tiny text, but I can't now because it's covered over with a thorny vine. Oh, I haven't seen this shape piece before. That's cool. And we put a shield piece in front, which also has got the little, like the little tombstone memorial on it as well. Once again, I can't read that. So don't know who this skeleton was. It's a mystery, but when we tip it up, we see that red square. Once again, that's going to be important for the game. So let's keep building over here. This, I think, is going to be... It looks like another grave, except it's going to be a little bit too small for a grave. Maybe it's like it's going to be like a teeny tiny one, like a little... another little memorial. It's bright red on what I assume is going to be the underside, and also that's going to be important too. There's our little inscription, and that goes there like that, and we can flip that up. Ooh, it's looking awesome! It's looking really, really, really great! We've <laughs> got our skeleton hiding in here. <laughs> and did I mention the ghost dog? <laughs> the ghost dog. Okay, alright, so we've done bag number one. Let's open bag number two, and this, this graveyard has, of course, it's got to have a creepy tree. Without a creepy tree, is it really, truly a proper graveyard? That's the question. It's the question you need to answer. But before we actually build the creepy tree, we need to do something with a bin. Hmm. And some water, like the tiniest lake, little puddles of water. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be like the caretaker's abode. So that little grave digger, there's a tap. There's the tap so he can wash his wash his tools off or wash his hands off. There's some more red and green. That kind of looks weird just sitting in there. I wonder if that's also part of the game. Mm. Oh, and we've got some tools to go in this bin. So not to be thrown away, but just to be stored there. So we've got a broom and we've got a pickaxe and a shovel definitely for digging the graves for this dude who's now been turned into a ghost. Don't worry, we'll fix you later, Mr. Branson. Maybe, or maybe he will be permanently possessed. I just don't know. It depends how bad I am at the game. Please, still, yeah, yeah, we gotta see. All right, we've got a spinny thing on the top, which is where our creepy tree is going to hang out. Just knocked over the bin. Fix the bin up again. And that's a cute little cottagey thing. 
I think it's gonna have a door on the front. I think that's what those hooks are going to be for. Here we go. Here's our door. Nice, Suze. That's very nice. Okay. It is almost creepy tree time. Creepy tree needs some roots. Isn't that so cool? So these roots actually, oh, they don't go on the ground. They actually go up the side of the caretaker's cottage, the little caretaker's room. I don't know why I call it a cottage. It's not like he's going to want to hang out in there. That's not where he lives, I don't think. All right, so this actually attaches to the rest of the graveyard very nicely. We're doing the same sort of thing as we did to the other side when we attached it. So we've got the little fencing continuing along with our little hinge pieces and some more greenery. This one's dark, dark greenery. It's lovely and another thorny vine to go over here. To make it look at that extra little bit creepy but I think it's looking creepy all on its own it's looking great okay tree time Woo, creepy tree time let's see how this tree is put together let's see what function this tree has we've got one of those big barefoot things which do very nicely from adding texture to tree trunks and for making tree root kind of looking things Okay, building up and smoothing over the sides. And now we've got some technique pieces to add motion. Got those little thorn or horn pieces, which, oh, they make fantastic, creepy looking roots. And how's this gone? Where does this go on? No, no, it goes over here. All right, so that, oh, so that's going to go up and down. We are building a matching one. No, we're building one just to extend that. Wow, that looks dangerous now. That looks like you would not want that to poke you in the top of your head. Okay, so now we're making a matching one or a mirror image one to go to go over here. Oh, looking good. And it needs its little extra root pieces. Wow, that's that's very cool. <laughs> okay, so they're trapped in there nicely now with the bricks that are on the top. And now we get some green eyeballs because all trees, creepy trees, need green eyeballs. This one's got, oh, cool. Is this like eyebrows? Like, oh, that's such a good usage of those plant pieces. They're like, oh, that's so cool. Is this the best creepy tree ever? I think it might be. It could be. I built a few creepy trees. This one's pretty awesome. And now we get some hair. Oh, <laughs> I think he's kind of adorable in his creepiness. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> I don't know that how many people would find him adorable. Okay, last little bits of hair for our creepy, adorable tree. And he's ready. He's ready to go and scare some teenagers. Let's install him on top of the caretaker's hut, shed, not cottage. Oh, cool. And he's got a little tiny bit of motion side to side, but really, hold on, he's a bit stuck there. Ah, oh, he's all good. All right, so we have finished building this. It is a really great looking build. I still stuck. Fix that. There we go. It's a great looking build, even just on its own. And hello, ghost dog. But let's see what this does with the app. So, all right, I have pre-installed the app on my iDevice. So let's turn it on, crank it up, and I'm, I'm a bit worried. Okay, we'll see how this works. No, you cannot send me notifications. But we will allow use of the camera because that's important. Oh, hey, hey, JB, I need your help. This town is full of ghosts. The ghosts only show up on the hidden side. Take a look with this phone to see the ghosts. Oh, okay, see this gloom? This phone can help clear gloom and catch ghosts. Nice, thanks, JB. Okay, so, ready to become a ghost hunter kiddo? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> if you all have a place that you can hunt ghosts and solve mysteries by tapping on the hunter's side, and don't be afraid to see what the hidden side is like too, tap on the ghost to haunt Newberry with friends. You can do that without needing a place at. All right, hunting ghosts or hunting Newberry, which side do you dare to play while we're, we're tapping hunter? And we have got the, whoa, no boy. Newberry is 100% haunted. Take a look at the haunt on the land. It's 100% uh, it's off the charts. You can de-haunt, is that even a word? Newberry by playing with Lego sets you built. So let's go to the graveyard because that's the one we've got. And let's play. See that green key is there. Have you built this set yet? Make sure you've built the graveyard Lego set and that you have a clean, well-lit area to play in. Let's 
do this. Play in a well-lit area. Play on a clean, flat surface. Avoid patterned and reflective surfaces. We've done all of that. So start by matching the shape of the set with the outlines on your screen. Scan the screen of the set. We got it. Okay. So let's match this. How far back do I need to go? Back, back, back. Are we there yet? Come on. Surely this has got to be really close. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. We've got it. All right, so I'll show you my gameplay on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, and so that's what I'm seeing on the iPhone. Look at all those graves popping up. There's ghosts coming out. There are bombs going everywhere. Ghost bombs. So our objective is to clear the gloom. Everything has come to life. That's so cool. All right, it has been totally gloomed. You need to clear the gloom. But first, you got to... Do something. Use your hand to turn that there a color gizmo to yellow. Okay, so we use it to change colors and then we line it up. So we'll turn our statue to yellow and then we tap that so we know we're ready to go on because we're still in tutorial mode. Match the diamond shape on your screen to the one on the color gizmo. Let's do this. Do me a favor and change that color gizmo to yellow, would ya? Okay. Move the diamond in the center of your phone over to the gloom spot on the set and tap. And tap! Okay, so I did that. Oh look! <gasps> this! Okay, so we found that other yellow piece and all gloom spots found. We need to scan this yellow thing here. Tap. Oh, that was a rat! <laughs> and we've got to try and match up the... the and the... that. <laughs> okay, do me a favour and change that colour. Get smooth to red, would ya? Okay, so now it's red. We won't tell her it's actually vibrant coral, but anywho. Tap red. Now we move the diamond in the center of the phone over to the gloom spot on the set and tap. Where's the gloom spot? Oh, okay, let's right there. I'm not certain I actually saw that. Okay, we found all the gloom spots, so we can scan this. Now I have to do that. Tap, tap. It's, oh, come on, I'm sure I'm hitting this in the right spot. Tap. Ah, tapping the screen at the right moment. We've done that. Now let's change our gizmo. Turn the angel to blue. Let's tap blue. Okay. And find the blue. Oh, there it is. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so our spectrum is all clear. Let's scan this. And oh, there are two little places I need to hit when the lightning. I come on getting that. Oh, there we go. The one. Now we've got to get this last one. This is really hard to do when I'm trying to do this in front of a camera. <laughs> I need my pokey finger. I can't really do it with my thumb. <laughs> there we go. I got there in the end. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I degloomed the spot, but someone is still gloomed over here. Let's scan a minifig. Well, I assume it's this guy, Mr. Branson. Hey, Mr. Branson. Let's put you where the app says to put you. So over here on this spot. And then let's scan you, though I think this is just going to lead to trouble. Wonderful, crazy trouble. Okay, let's go and scan. Tap. Oh, he's fully loaded. Warning! Hold on, what was the warning? A warning! Ghost detector! There's a ghost! What are you waiting for? Zap him! Alright, so, yeah, I got it. <laughs> so I have to zap him. Tap to attack. Okay, I can do that. Where is he? Moving around. Throwing things at me. Throwing things at me. It's leaving glob all over my screen. It can't be sanitary. Uh, I think I'm hitting him. I think it says hits. Got 61%. There's glue everywhere. I wonder if I try and get in closer to him. No, I'm backing away when he comes close. I wonder if that makes any difference at all. Very hard trick. Tap, tap, tap. He's goofing me. I got him. I think I got him. Or am I dead? No, I got him. Ghost caught. Gary Atrick! Congratulations, Gloom cleared! I did it! Thanks, JB. <laughs> you did it, kiddo. So, graveyard results. 93 is still 93% haunted. Okay, so we've only just scratched the surface here and we did meet a new ghost. We got some rewards. So I don't want to replay it at the moment. Let's go to the main menu. Okay, so let's see what JB says. Hey, you earned enough tokens to open one of my very special capsules. Tap to open it. Okay, so that's that green glowy thing. I have got. Dun, dun, dun. Right. I got 98 gloom. No idea what I do with this. Ah, oh, you got 78 spirit. And I've unlocked Nagging Nathan and Crazy Thomas. And some research points. And Gary Attrick, who I caught just before. Hey now, you've got a lot of subscribers to your channel. Let's see how you're doing so far. Oh, okay. 
So that's the little yellow bit up here in the top left hand corner, subscribers. Nice, I can collect something. It's <laughs> channel's booming. Collect, let's see. We get plus 10 small capsule. All right, I don't know what to do with that. But I'm sure it's going to be very useful. We've got a little while to go before we get the next thing. So JB says, check out these menus to upgrade your gear and ghosts. Well, let's go and see. Let's go and see what's going on in the upgrades. So use gloom. We've got enough gloom to get an upgrade. It's just randomly picking something for me. I got a combo damage. Don't know how to use that. Okay, uh, and I need 130 and I don't have that much. Okay. Okay, but we got combo damage. Nice. <laughs> I'll learn how to use these things. Okay, all right. So no more upgrades for now. We need to play a bit more to do that. Let's check out our ghost collection. Because we got three at the moment. <laughs> we got one in each different color. So we've got, oh, he's angry, nagging. Nathan is angry. He was an early settler who built his house in the swamp. Don't do that. You'll go mad. Yeah, mad as in angry. <laughs> okay, all right. What about, what about, man, look at all these ghosts to collect. Holy moly. Well, all right, this is going to be a fun game to play. All right, so who, who else do we need to meet? We've got a crazy Thomas, who is crazy. That's not a surprise. And we've got Garyatric, who's sad. Oh, he spent 110 years complaining. Oh, it was too hot, too cold, too humid, too dry. He still does. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, do you want to... Insp shall we investigate the free part of this this game, where the ghost, where you get to be a ghost in Newbury? Let's do that. Let's see. So this, if you download the app, it's free and you can play this part. You don't need a set to be able to activate it at all. So I need a red fellow to go in here. All right. So we've got our ghost team. Let's go haunting. And we're going haunting in the graveyard anyway, which is the easiest way. Objective, haunt the graveyard. Well, I can do that. We have got nagging Nathan and he is, he is, oh, Quite difficult to control the camera because it's opposite to what I want it to be. So he has to collect the gloom. Good work, nagging Nathan. And that little eye, that little red eye in there means that it's looking for red ghosts. And he is red. So we're going to have to go and change his color. I know, he's been sighted and I'm still destroying gloom and stuff. Let's just see how much we can throw before we kill nagging Nathan. He's a ghost. He can't die. All right, but he's blue now. Now he's Gary Atrick. Okay, Gary. Oh, is that like geriatric? But it's Garyatric. I just got the joke. <laughs> now, where are we going to throw some of this gloom? Where can we, where can we collect some more? That little eye is still red. Oh, there's the yellow spot. So when we need to change him into yellow, which was the sad Sam or whatever his name was, I can't remember. Actually, I can't remember. So let me see. We've got a little tiny bit of gloom. We want to go and throw it at some. Oh, there's something there. We want to go and throw it some more of those places. Oh no, the eye's now blue! I didn't move fast enough. I'm getting lost. I'm directionally challenged. I need some help. Let's uh, let's go and make him yellow. Though by the time I go and find where I'm supposed to be going, it'll probably have changed again. Okay, so the eye is looking for blue ghosts. I'm okay. Can I throw it here? No, I'm still too far away. I want to throw it at the angel. Maybe I need to come from too far need to come from this angle. Uh, we can throw it at the tree! Nice! We got the tree! I don't know what his trick thing is. I don't know what it achieves. It's like a lightning thing. It's too far away now. We have to run! We have to float! We have to glide! We have to change our colour because the yellow eye is attacking us. Okay, so let's go and get this tree. See if we can make our gloom progress. We're up to 47%. Oh, but now oh, the eye's seen us. It's now looking for red ghosts. And that's me. Let's wander around this corner. Float around this corner. Make him yellow! Make me yellow! Make me into Crazy Thomas! It was Crazy Thomas that was so wrong on Sad Sam. I wonder if there will be a Sad Sam. So let's try and, let's try and gloom this, de-gloom this door. Are we glooming it or are we de-glooming it? Kind of doesn't make any sense to be de-glooming it if we're a ghost. <laughs> we seem to be de-glooming it. Let's collect some more gloom. I think I just like saying gloom. Ah, oh, the eye's looking for me. Let's make me red. I'm not nagging, Nathan. Clean up your clothes. Pick up your towel. Put your socks on quicker. See? That's, uh, that's nagging, Nathan. 
<laughs> okay, all right. So let's get some more gloom and let's find. I need to get this angel. Which where do I? Which angle do I get this angel from? I can't get it from here, and I can't seem to get it from the front. Oh, now the eyes see me again. Right, back over here. No, we don't want to be red because we're already red. We're getting blasted. Let's. Uh, no, that's gloom. Glide fast, nagging Nathan. Let's cut the yellow one. Let's turn you back into Sad Sam, who's actually Crazy Thomas. Okay, right. So let's go and get that gloom, and let's go and oh, there's gloom in there too. And we're gonna now we're blue, which is okay at the moment. Maybe I'm hoping if I do that, it's gonna the eyes not going to remember that I changed into red, and we'll change into red next. Maybe no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just try and attack this angel anyway because I'm, I finally found a good angle to get it. Now let's glide. Let's glide and get away from this thing that's trying to kill me. Once again, ghost, so don't know about the killing thing. But it's certainly attacking me, which is not very friendly. Okay, some more gloom. And we're looking. Oh, it's looking for me again. It's blue. Let's be red. Okay, we're back to nagging Nathan. Have you done your homework? Oh, get out of the shower, you're wasting the water. Let's come around here and let's gloom this bit. We're up to 82%. This might be the very last thing we need. Yes! Check it out! We have got gloom progress of 100%! We win! We win! What do we win? We win... Uh, well, we've leveled up on uh, some things. Looks like one of our ghosts has leveled up. We've... Oh, we have got a new milestone of 100 subscribers. That's nice. So that will, we get a new ghost, Mr. Mueller. Mr. Mueller, the yellow ghost. Okay, so let's check him out. We've got Mr. Mueller. Yeah. Oh, hold on. We've got a ghost ready to level up. Tap on him to see its details. Where are you? Which one is it? I assume it's the blue one. But Mr. Mueller is always perfect with numbers and order. Mr. Mueller never lets anything slide. Keep your numbers neat. <gasps> He's crazy. <laughs> I knew he was crazy the minute I saw that mustache. <laughs> now, I've obviously got a lot of playing still to do. I really enjoyed building the set. This cr the creepy element is so fun. Uh, ghost dog, hello. And it really is just so fun to have a new theme. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the set, what you think of the game, whether you want to see me build any more of these sets on the channel. I'll certainly be building them, but do you want me to share them with you as well? And I'll be back with another video very, very soon. So until then, bye! And I'm off to go and blast some more ghosts or be a ghost. I don't know. I'll choose, but ha! Ghost dog! I want to be the ghost dog. Why can't I be the ghost dog? I want to be the ghost dog.